all right y'all we are back with another video and this one right here coming by benny as well he does a great job on this channel like i said i will leave the original video in the description make sure i go show benny some love and uh he got this one right here for where we already know what joe biden did uh didn't do this man came all the way to my just to tell somebody about his house almost catching on fire and he almost lost his cat and his corvette all type of bull jive that people wasn't worried about you're supposed to be talking about what happened what was going on and you trying to compare what almost happened to your stuff to something that actually happened so it, it, that rate uh, look man this i don't see how joe biden is in office I, I, man just for this man being in office pisses a lot of us off probably if not all of us but we got this one right here by benny he said that um that trump's family travels to maui in secret visit to serve fire victims out uh out the biden flipped off by allen well there you go so it seemed like donald trump's family traveled to maui so we about to dive straight into this and see exactly what happened so make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel shout out to everybody showing so much support everybody's leaving positive comments in the comment section and i also want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time i appreciate you as well without further ado let's dive straight into it y'all being able to have some control when everything seems so out of control and we're calling it people's fund of maui because every dollar that you send is going to go into an account that goes directly to the people just knowing everything that took place knowing the trauma that has taken place and knowing that it's going to take a long time to rebuild probably get a little worse before it gets a little better but we're here doing what we can do what's up guys it's your boy benny we don't care how you vote if you are an american and you share a country with us we love you we care about you and we don't want any harm to come to you that is why we are heartbroken for the people of maui especially the poor people of maui who have already suffered under the billionaires who come there and buy up all of their land yep. and jack up all of the prices of property they can't find housing and then of course what little housing they have burns to the ground under very mysterious and evil circumstances they did didn't sound the sirens, they didn't release any water, nope. and they blocked the roads leading out of the town. What the hell happened in Lahaina? Nobody knows. And certainly nobody is trying to help out. The billionaires are very excited to grab themselves a new little city on that island, and we are yep. disgusted and repulsed by them. But there is the daughter of a billionaire who's actually doing some help, and no, her last name isn't Winfrey or Bezos or Zuckerberg, it's Trump. Trump. Ivanka Trump's secret trip to Maui gives meals to families devastated wildfires. This exclusive from the Daily Mail. Ivanka Trump, who was the big time advisor for Donald Trump in the White House, uh, his sort of like uh, prized daughter here, has headed to Maui on a humanitarian mission two weeks ago. She distributed food mm. and supplies with the group CityServe International. Thousands remain displaced. Rebuilding has yet to begin. I've never seen any footage like this of Oprah. Nope. Handing out fresh food and fruit uh, to the people who are in need there. Let's read. Ivanka Trump made a secret trip to Maui to distribute meals. The former first daughter joined CityServe International Humanitarian Mission to distribute 250,000 prepackaged meals. Well, that's great. That's nice. Uh, where, where the hell is Oprah? As we've as we've discussed, Oprah is the largest landowner in all of Maui. She owns 2,000 acres. Apparently, she grows lots of stuff on her farm. Check this out. Here is Oprah's own website writing about the bounty of her farm. Oh, wow. Oprah's hmm. exclusive farm. Look. Look at Oprah's farm. Look at all of her food. She's so excited to have all of this food. Look at that. Oprah. She has lots of food. Wow, check this out. Take a sneak peek at Oprah's garden bounty. Look at all that. Where are the photos of Oprah handing a box like that to any of the victims? N nowhere to be found. Of the Lahaina fires. Hmm. Very interesting. Dressed in a black tank top and green cargo pants, Trump wore a name tag that read Eva as she distributed fresh produce. Looks like these photos were taken um, by a non-professional photographer. Doesn't look like uh, she was there for the publicity. They visited Lahaina Church that is acting as a food pantry, met with residents who are working to rebuild their lives. Yep. During her visit, Trump passed out fresh vegetables, delivered prepackaged food supplies. 
her humble presence lifted spirits and reminded the people of Lahaina that they are not forgotten. Right. Uh, City Surf said in a statement. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. There are 6,000 displaced, uh, displaced residents in Maui hotels. Another 1,000 are in Airbnb rentals. Ivanka Trump and the group distributed food, water, local produce, and gift cards. These are actually uh, really valuable things to distribute. Here she is uh, doing that work for the residents there. Very kind, like actually going out and serving. Hmm. Funny how that works. There she is with – these guys have some protein pain tanks. She has some graham crackers there. Here she is again. There's, there's Trump right there in the middle. Wow. Uh, well, this is markedly different uh, from how Joe Biden, a member of the Biden family, so Joe Biden went to Lahaina. Mm-hmm. How is Joe Biden greeted? Uh, like this. They didn't want to hear from Joe Biden. They want wow, nothing to do with this here. man. Wow, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. F*** you. F*** you. F*** you. F*** you. Not good. And of course, we'll um, remind you that also super uber liberal, here's Oprah and Kamala Harris in one of her least liked posts. Uh, but you wouldn't know that actually because Oprah's turned off all the comments on all of her posts. Oh, no, How interesting no. is that? Here's Oprah and The Rock begging you to give them money because they're billionaires and they. Ain't that crazy right there that she turned off her comments on all of her videos because no matter what she posted, everybody was calling her out because she has all the money, all the resources, and you asking regular people with regular jobs that, like I said before, that will never have the amount of money that you have. And now she go on talking about that we all threatening her, we attacking her. She Now she playing the victim because you try to put out a GoFundMe when you wouldn't even ask your billionaire and millionaire friends so y'all can go half and go ahead and get this taken care of instead of trying to sit around and ask normal people, you know what I'm saying, for money. Like, we ain't going for that. So now you see what she did. She done turned off uh, all her comment section, don't want nobody saying anything because she knows no matter what she posts, Somebody's going to mention something about the uh, about Maui and about her wanting to take money from us when she already got millionaire and billionaire friends. Then you got the rock beside you that's worth a billion dollars. So you're going to keep getting you're going to keep getting people coming after you for some stuff like that. And look what Trump daughter did. She didn't come up there with a camera crew. She see that's the thing when you know it's genuine. Is when a person is finna do something, they ain't gotta try to record everything that they do. A lot of people, the Fox News, I don't even think uh, none of them knew about that, that uh, Trump daughter went up there. Because you could tell that there was just somebody who just took a picture probably from their phone or something like that. See, she was doing it out the kindness of her heart. She wasn't trying to bring no camera crew and say, hey, look what I'm doing for the people of Maui. No, she made, it, she made sure it was genuine. It was genuine. That's the reason why she didn't have a camera crew with her and stuff. She was just trying to really come there and help. Where's Biden? Biden didn't do it. He didn't do it. He came there and wanted to talk about what almost happened to his car and his cat. Oh, boy. They can't afford themselves to help out anyone. Uh, and she's turned off the comments here as well. Yep, all of them. So Oprah is now deleting all the comments. Maybe that's because she's snapping, snatching up all of the land. This is what Oprah does in Maui. Oprah steals land. How, how do you get seven, 870 acres hmm. in Maui for $6.6 .6 million? How does that happen? Oh, uh, government corruption. Why would the government uh, not issue sirens and turn people back and not release water and not help yep. firefighters and close down the roads getting out of the town. It's crazy. Welp, I'll let you answer those questions. Oprah is the largest landowner in Maui. She has 2,000 acres and she's never once, not once, opened up her house 
to any of the people and any of the residents. Not a single acre of her two thousand. Everybody been saying that. Not none of her acres. You have not seen Oprah get on any interview saying, "Hey, the people of Maui, a lot of them didn't lost their house. Y'all can come to my land. I got plenty of land. I get houses built on." She ain't said none of that. None of that. You know what Oprah did? Oprah got in front of that camera and said that she want us to uh, donate money to get the house rebuilt because she don't want to give up what she already got. Like, what is she going to do with all that land? But she ain't offered none of that to them. And that's why they don't want anything to do with her. Thousand acres in Maui has Oprah given to any of the victims of the fire? No, no. All Oprah did was simply sit on this porch right here and watch the flames as they burned. I don't actually know that, but presumably you would have a really good shot. You'd have a really good, uh, you have a really good vantage point right there. Oh, Oprah, what have you done? Oprah went on uh, a CBS morning show and mewled that she, in fact, is the actual victim of the Maui fires. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, take the black hole, soulless, empty space narcissism that you think that Oprah has and amplify it times 100. When you listen to Oprah complain that she, in fact, Due to mean internet comments, is the real victim of the Maui fires. Watch. Um, Oprah, I want to shift gears a little bit and turn to the Hawaii wildfires and the efforts to help those in need. The People's Fund of Maui yeah. uh, was created by you and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, um, in, in which you both poured time, effort, and millions to kick it off yourselves. Yeah. Um, yet and still, it faced online criticism. I want to give you the opportunity to... Um, Kind of give your thoughts on that. Well, this is a really great point about being happier in the midst of an onslaught of being terrorized and vilified. There she go, playing victim. Talking about being terrorized. Talking about that her and The Rock already started it off. See, here's the thing. What you mean y'all started it off? Why didn't y'all go ahead and start it and finish it? Why didn't y'all say, okay, instead of us just starting it off, Right, let's just put our money together. Let's go and get this taken care of instead of trying to get in front of a camera and say that we put this amount towards it already and now we want uh, everybody else around the world to do it. But we ain't going to go ask our billionaire friends. We ain't going to go ask Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos. We ain't going to go ask them. All the billions they got, and you tell me that, that they wouldn't going to help y'all? That's where the problem come in at. But she's sitting on here trying to play the victim. Talking about she's being terrorized. She's being attacked. And I, see, this is stuff I be talking about right here. Line. Mm-hmm. I will say this. I came out of this experience, I was just saying this to Arthur this morning, with so much more compassion for young kids because I was thinking, what if I didn't really know who I am? Mm-hmm. What if I didn't have the assurance of Invictus that I am the master of my own fate and the captain of my soul? If you it would are, have taken you down. It would have, ta- it would have taken, yes. it, would, it will take you out. Yeah. So all of the online, uh, you know, being- Slander and slam, attacks. Huh. Attacks, lies, conspiracy there they go. theories. Huh. It says slander and attack. Boy, I tell you the truth. Boy, that playing the victim is something else, ain't it? It is something else. But I want to thank you all for watching. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. This is just crazy to me. And y'all already know me. If you've been watching me for a while, I'm going to continue to call Oprah out. I'm going to continue to do it until I see something uh, that didn't change. But other than that, we ain't seen nothing change yet. It's still a lot of lies going on. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. So like I said, I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.